Well, change is coming for a deadly intersection in East Alabama. Welcome in tonight. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Aniston City leaders are looking for ways to make that intersection of U.S. Highway 431 and Coleman Road safer. Just last week, one person was killed at that location in a major collision. It involved five cars and a tractor trailer. Several others were hurt. New tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is back from Aniston with how they plan to fix this intersection. He's live in our newsroom. Yes, Sherry, the State Department of Transportation is likely to add some signs to an intersection that's seen a handful of deadly crashes in the last year or so. Before the busy intersection of Coleman Road and Highway 431 in Aniston, crosses where two people died on one side and a flashing caution sign on the other. There have been fatalities uh, at, at the side. I mean, re really from, from the top of the hill down to uh, the intersection of, of Coleman and Chakalaka. Uh, the community is very concerned, as it should be. But again, uh, we're thankful that, that ALDOT came and met with us today. Aniston Mayor Jack Draper met with state transportation leaders just days after 74-year-old Jimmy Goodwin was the latest to die in a wreck on a stretch of road that's likely to see improvements this week. We talked about more signage and quite frankly, more effectively placed signage uh, and, and more visible signage. Some in the neighborhood worry about speeding cars and 18-wheelers coming down the hill. We saw police aggressively patrolling the area today. Now, the mayor hopes an increased police presence and that added signage will make the area safer until leaders can find a long-term solution as they continue to work with the Alabama Department of Transportation. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.